If the student gets a low grade, who is to blame? The student or the teacher. If a student does all of the work in my class, even if they do it wrong, but at least they put some effort into it, they will get a C on their report card. Every single student I've ever had who got anything below a C from me on their report card got it because of missing work. Period. There has never been a time when I did not. Give students multiple warnings about their missing work. Inform parents about their child's missing work. Agree to accept late work from the student, sometimes several months late. Offer alternative assignments for students who are unable to finish missing work for some reason. Still, every single year, love had students fail my class. Most of the time, those same students fail most of their classes for the same reason. They simply don't do the work. And it's not always because of issues at home or anything like that. Sometimes it's oppositional defiance, OD. But most of the time, it's sheer laziness. I've actually used my iPad's time lapse to record my class to prove to parents that the child had plenty of time to do the assignment and ask questions about the assignment, but they chose to not do it. I once showed a time lapse of 30 minutes of my class wherein I put the work on the students' desks, put pencils on the students' desks, explained the work, made myself available for anyone who had questions, walked around the room during the work, and yet there was one student who literally just sat and stared at his paper the whole time. When confronted with the video, the student laughed it off. I didn't feel like doing it. That was his response. You'd be surprised how often that happens. Students making the conscious choice to just take a zero on an assignment, rather than put forth any effort on it. If the student gets a low grade who is to blame, the student or the teacher. This question actually has the answer in it. It's the student who gets the grade. The teacher just gives the student what they earn. 